made out it would be a priority. That's South African Police Spokesman Zweli Mnesi. A London-based organization working for tribal people's rights claims that 100 people were arrested in Ethiopia last month for opposing the construction of a dam on the Omo River. A report by Survival International says the pastoralists in southern Ethiopia see the river and its underlying wetlands as being vital for their livelihood. But the government says it wants to develop the region. Jonathan Mazoa is the head of media and advocacy at Survival International. He told me more about these arrests. Well, these arrests have been going on for several months. It isn't something that's happened immediately. It's part of an increasing level of repression and persecution in the south of Ethiopia associated with the construction of this very controversial dam, the Gibe 3 dam, which when it's built will block the annual flooding of the Omo River on which about 200,000 tribal people depend. What's the link between these arrests and the dam? Although it's massive in itself, it's actually just part of a broader scheme that the government has for the whole of southern Ethiopia. It has long viewed the tribal peoples who live there as backward and primitive. It says so quite openly, and it's wanted to, as it calls it, develop this area. Now, the dam enables it to do that because it enables, at the same time as the dam is constructed, it enables them to open up a lot of the Omo Valley, a huge area in southern Ethiopia. Ethiopia to commercial irrigation and large-scale plantations of sugarcane, cotton and other crops. That is what the government sees as its vision for that area. That's what it thinks will bring progress, as it calls it, to the area. But of course, the irony is that the tribal people who have lived there since time immemorial are actually some of the most self-sufficient people in that part of the world. So why exactly have they been arrested? Were they taking part in a protest or something of the sort? No, what's been happening is that the government knows that the tribal people are on the whole opposed to these schemes, unsurprisingly, because they're going to lose most of their land. And as the land is being cleared for these plantations, the Ethiopian army and the government representatives are going round the tribal villages and they are asking people what they think of the plantations. They are trying to work out who is opposed to these schemes, who might be in a position to speak out. They've already banned most of the community organisations that were active in that area. And people who the government thinks are opposed to these schemes are being put in jail on trumped up charges. That's basically what's happening. And that's uh, Jonathan Mazoa, uh, the head of media and advocacy at Survival International. We tried to get a response from the Ethiopian government, but to no avail. And that voice you heard there in the background was from Piers Edwards, who was rehearsing his sports.